Now to the war in Ukraine. There are reports tonight that Russian troops are bearing down and are just 20 miles away from a second nuclear power plant. This after they attacked another plant last night, and we're now seeing video from inside that plant when it was being shelled. You're endangering the security of the entire world. Attention, stop shooting at the nuclear hazardous facility. This was the scene at the nuclear plant as it was under siege, being fired upon by the Russian military. Attention, stop it. These workers now being forced to do their jobs at gunpoint. In Chernihiv, Russian troops leveled neighborhoods. <laughs> this is a nightmare. How is this possible, a woman cries. Journalists are not safe either. Gunmen opened up on a team from Sky News, and one person was wounded. And Kiev's train station has been besieged by tens of thousands of residents trying to leave. Parents trying to console children, and couples saying goodbye. This father clutches his eight-year-old child's toy, not knowing when he will see his son again. On this train, critically ill children were transported from Ukraine to Poland. Victoria can't sit up due to cerebral palsy, but her mother Ira agonizes about the family she left behind. She learned recently that her town was bombed. And then there are the cries of newborns, many coming into a warring world from the basements of hospitals. We are living in real hell. I could never imagine that something like that can happen in 21st century. Alina Shinkar is expecting her first child. I saw, you know, women are given birth just in here, in a basement. But Katerina Sokorakova says her anxiety vanished when she held her newborn son for the first time, the tiniest symbol of hope. CBS News joined other news organizations assessing a new Russian law threatening prison terms for so-called fake news about the war in Ukraine. CBS News says it's currently not broadcasting from Russia as it monitors developments.